Welcome to this video. And in this video, we'll be looking at the instrument transformers. Instrument transformers. In my previous video, I discussed the measurement of voltages and currents. And we extend our discussion to the use of instrument transformers in the measurement of heavy currents and high voltages in AC circuits. And therefore, the instrument transformers are special types of transformers that are used in measurement of heavy currents and high voltages in AC circuits. As the name suggests, these transformers are used in conjunction with relevant instruments such as ammeters, voltmeters, Parameters and so on. There are two types of instrument transformers. Uh, they are in two categories. Number one, we have what we call the current transformers. Also called series transformers. And we have the voltage transformers. Also called parallel transformers. Current transformers are used when the magnitude of the AC current to be measured exceeds the safe value of the current of the measuring instrument. Potential of the voltage transformers are used where the voltage of the AC circuit exceeds 750 volts, since it's not possible to adequately insulate the measuring system for voltages higher than 750 volts. We will look at the configuration and operation of each of them at a time. And number one, we look at the current transformers in measurement of heavy current. Current transformer in measurement of heavy currents. The current transformers are basically step down current transformers. They are step down current transformers. If they are step down current transformers, they are step up voltage transformers. They step down the current and in the process they step up the voltage. A current transformer basically has a primary coil of one or more tons of heavy cross-sectional area. So on the primary side of the transformer, we have one coil or a coil of few tons, but of heavy cross-sectional area. In some of the transformers, the bar carrying the high current acts as the primary coil. The single bar that carries the primary current acts as the primary coil. And this is connected in series with the line carrying the high current. And the secondary transformer is made up of a large number of tons of fine wires having small cross-sectional area. Being a step-up trans voltage transformer, we expect the number of tons in the secondary winding to be higher. And since the current is stepped down, then they are of smaller cross-sectional area as compared 
to the turns in the primary winding. The configuration of the CT or the current transformer is therefore as follows. Where this is the load and the current transformer can be considered to be a transformer that has very few turns in the primary connected in series with the load and then the AC supply is connected to the load and the current IP flows in the primary winding. Then the secondary coil has many turns and then to each we connect our armature. So we connect an armature and this is the secondary current that flows in the armature. These are our turns N2 and N1. And we are saying that N1 can either be one or few turns. And on the primary, we use coils of higher cross-sectional area. N2, this has many turns and then the wires are very fine and of small cross-sectional area. From the transformer turns ratio, we know that IP over IS is equals to N2 over N1. IS is what we measure, but we need to measure IP, which is very high primary current. We step down the current and measure it as IS and obtain IP to be N2 over N1 multiplied by IS. And this gives us the value of the high current in the primary circuit, which cannot be measured with an ordinary ammeter by measuring the secondary current having stepped down the current and by multiplying the turns ratio of the transformer N2 over N1 with the secondary current, we obtain the high primary current, which is not measurable with ordinary ammeters. And through this, we are able to measure heavy currents on the primary circuitry using the current transformers. It is important to notice that the secondary winding of the current transformer must never be left open. If left open, then the current in the secondary becomes zero. If you open the secondary, then the current in the secondary coil becomes zero. And we know that generally this current opposes the primary ampere turns, which becomes zero. Since there, there is no counter magnetomotive force, the unopposed primary magnetomotive force produces high flux in the core. And this is going to produce excessive core losses, resulting to overheating of the core beyond limits. And therefore, to avoid the overheating of the core, then we do not leave the secondary winding open. Next, we look at the voltage transformers in measurement of very high voltages or the potential transformers. Potential or voltage transformers the function of the potential transformer is to step down the voltage to the level which the voltmeter can accommodate. And therefore, this is a step down voltage transformer. So 
steps down the voltage to levels which can be accommodated by an ordinary voltmeter. Being a step down transformer, then we expect the primary winding to be connected to the voltage side to be measured and the primary winding has very many turns. So we expect that the primary winding is to be connected to the voltage side whose voltage is to be measured while the secondary side is connected to the voltmeter. One end of the secondary winding is always grounded for safety purposes. So we take one side of the secondary winding and ground that for safety purposes. The primary winding consists of large number of turns, while the secondary has less number of turns. And the basic configuration of the potential transformer is as follows. So we have the primary winding with many turns. We have our core and we have the secondary winding with fewer turns and the secondary winding is connected to the voltmeter. Whereas the primary winding is in parallel with the load. Where this is the AC source, this is the primary winding with N1 turns, and this is the secondary winding with N2 turns. This is the high voltage to be measured which is the voltage across the load, considering that the primary turns are in parallel with the load. And this is the voltage V2 measured on the secondary winding. So we take the primary winding, uh, the primary, primary voltage, which is very high. We step it down to V2, we measure V2, and by use of the turns ratio of the transformer, we can obtain the primary voltage V1 as follows. We know that V1 over V2 is given by N1 over N2. So what we measure is V2, but what we require is V1, which is very high and unmeasurable, from which V1 will be given by N1 over N2 multiplied by V2. And those of these, we are able to measure the high voltage on the primary, which is the voltage across the load using a voltmeter, having stepped down the voltage using the transformation ratio N1 over N2. And through that, then the potential transformer can be used for measurement of high voltages. Those are the current transformers and potential transformers for measurement of heavy current and high voltages. That is the end of my discussion and thank you for watching this video.